the backfield today for the Purdue Boilermakers. A lot of motion. They fake the jet sweep to Akeem Hunt and Mostert. Out across. A lot of plays fast. They want to shrink this game. Second and five at the 23. Hunt now alone in the backfield. Etling to throw for the first time. And it's intercepted at the 30-yard line. Picked off by Duran Grant. Grant down the sidelines. And Grant will... Including the young man under center, Danny Etling. First down at the 25. Cottom, the big man at tailback. And Cottom dragging out. Second and three. Etling on the roll. Cottom with the reception. Two for the Boilermakers. Shazier coming. Cottom with the carry and a good stop made as caught 25 yard line first down. Danny Etling with the quick screen to Hunt. Second and nine for Etling. And a good toss and the completion for Ehrman. Cottom on first down for Purdue. Look at the way he moved. Another completion since the intercept, just 62% of the time. Zero red zone snaps since September 20th. Of course, they had two bye weeks in there as well. Here's Hunt on the sweep. And Hunt with a good game. Five. Pressure coming. Etling has it batted down. And the pass incomplete. At the 15, toss to Hunt. Akeem Hunt down, second and six for Etling. Five receivers into the pattern. An incomplete pass from two touchdowns. Pass is deflected and incomplete. On first down, Akeem Hunt. Hunt met at the 30-yard line by Sins, the tight end in motion on second and four at the 31. Hunt again. And well defended by... Cottom. Barreling forward, and he got the first down. And a 28-0 lead for the fourth-ranked Buckeyes. And the give to Mostert, third and eight. At the 46-yard line. Pressure coming. Etling over the middle to his tight end, Sins, and Sins. Vote to see who was going to go to the Rose Bowl, and uh, the Buckeyes uh, got the bid, and that really upset a lot of Michigan folk. Hey, Arthur, you, you're hanging on. The other side of the phone was Woody singing, California, <laughs> here we come. Now, can you imagine that? I still didn't beat it. Third down and 21 after the sack. Etling from his own goal line. And Etling to the sideline. The catch is made, but out of back. Back pass, wide receiver, double pass, reverse pass. Make something happen here. Play action, pressure coming. Etling trying to roll away from it, and the pass incomplete. Here comes pressure. Etling is sacked. Mike Field he looked up. There was number two. Second and ten. Over the middle. And a first down for Purdue. Here's Cottom. Brandon Cottom fights out to the at their 29-yard line. Mostert in trouble, and Mostert will lose yard. This is a top-notch Ohio State defense at that time. They're getting better. Every week, third and six. Here comes Shazier again. Etling's in trouble, and he's sacked. Oh, with Jay Lehman on the field, I'm Kevin Kugler. A first down from the 26-yard line. Etling with the three-step drop and the quick slant. Right now, I, yeah, I'm just going to try to get my base offense ready to go, try some things out. Second down and four. Pressure coming again, and Etling is sacked. To do no, I don't. <laughs> But it's 49 to nothing, and Danny Elling's been sacked 15 times in three starts. And he fumbles that football. Ball loose on the turf at about the 22-yard line. 
at points, but they've got a couple of losses this year. From the 18, first down. Etling going to have to scramble and Etling. And they'll take a beat on that quarterback. Second down and seven. Complete to the 25 yard line and out to the 28 at that starting spot. First down and 10 at the 29. Swing pass to the outside. Daylin Dawkins wants to be out there on the field. Second and 11. Etling incomplete and grinding every day, every play. On third down, pressure coming. Etling in trouble, and the pass incomplete. At the 31st down. Draw play. And Daylin Dawkins picks up about games. Thursday night, even Fridays. And down the sideline, jump ball, and it's incomplete. Oregon, Stanford, Baylor, Oklahoma. Incomplete for D'Angelo. 23 yards on 55 plays today, an average of 2.2 yards per play. And pressure coming, and Etling sacked again. 